Thanks for coming back. Pat O'Mahony, star of radio and television, has just joined me along with Don. How are you? Do you like the denim shirt? The denim shirt brigade. This, this was yes, well, I mean, you were, the, you were the one who was a presenter of a fashion show. Yeah, well, look at you. I chanced me out for five gorgeous. years and then yeah. decided the scam was up. What about my boots? Do you like my boots? I think they're uh, exceedingly sexy. Happy well, shiny good. boots. Don, I bet you, you don't like them, do you? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know, Don likes lady Don has, shoes. Don has taste, I don't. Yeah, well, there's that. Anyway, um, you've got a brand new radio show. That's true. Called Off Your Trolley. That's true. What is that? It's a brand new radio ah, program. Ah, yeah, what, what, what? <laughs> it's a, it's a new, ra the new schedule on um, Radio 1. Um, which started in the new year. Radio 1. Radio one. Yes, Radio 1, real radio. And um, <laughs> it's basically uh, on at half twelve on a Thursday after Pat Kenny, before the Nucht. And there are new programmes each, uh, 20 minute short programmes each day uh, right. at half twelve. And uh, I'm doing the Thursday one. And uh, it's called Off Your Trolley. And it's basically a kind of light hearted look at how people spend their money and why they spend their money. And uh, it's not. It's not a consumer program as such. I mean, we don't have you know lawyers and solicitors to back us up, and we don't go. It's not the Cook Report. It's not right. investigative. It's, right. it's infotainment. It's just kind of bump into someone. Oh God, they're buying something interesting. Let's have a chat with them, sort of a thing. And just by coincidence, I happen to have a tape recorder with me, and let's Fabo. record it. Yeah. Well, let's have a listen to. Yeah. What, well, this what is this is kind of this is the opening of it, right? The opening. The opening. So this is Pat O'Mahony on Radio One Thursdays. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to Off Your Trolley. Like the bulls you'll get out of saving. Say that £30 extra, of which would enable you to go on a holiday. For a holiday. It's the truth, it would. The secrets are a damn good pair of long johns, starters, good thick socks, and uh, just basically keep them well wrapped up, keep them warm. This week, later on, the fine art of fine art shopping in the great outdoors. But first, Helen McInerney brings experienced budget shopper Mary Tierney down the supermarket aisle in search of money-saving tips. Money's getting cheaper. Price is getting steeper. I'm myself a woman, but I just couldn't keep up with time. Getting tough and tough. Yes, things getting rough and rough. I have to say that's very nicely put together. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's very see, nicely put kind together. I like music, so I like using music in the programme to illustrate it and to, you know, break it up and what have you. I mean, that's the sugar cubes that we're using, uh, the opening signature <coughs> instrumental version of um, a single they had called Hit. Um, and I don't think you'd find the sugar cubes played on Radio 1 too often. No, that's true, um, so it's a nice facility Yeah, but I mean, well, yeah. The, the, the speech is the most important thing, but we just use music every now and again then to, to break up the stories and to illustrate them, and, you know. What do you spend your money on? I don't have any money. Do I knew not? that question was coming. What are you doing then? I was then? trying to think of a smart alecky answer. <laughs> I couldn't. What do I spend it on? Food. Food, electricity, telephone bills, Gas rent, bills, yeah, you yeah, know, the yeah, usual. You know. Um, uh, but if you, if you, if you were going on, if you're having a splurge... I'm not a big spender. If I, oh, uh, I'd actually like to buy um, some new hi-fi stuff. Um, would you buy, Don, if you were going on a splurge? Go on a holiday, I'd say. Would you? Mm -hmm. Hi-fi stuff and a holiday. It's well, been so long since I've been on a holiday, I forget yeah, it's how to spell it. good way to spend your money. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Who do you listen to on radio? Uh, I don't listen to a lot of radio, which is kind of strange working in the medium now, because I'm not doing any maybe tel not. television. Um, maybe it's not unusual. Um, I, I listen to Mr. Fanning on 2FM, mm. um, whom I occasionally sit in for when he's not around. Mm. And apart from that, I listen to so much music that I have a, a backlog of CDs at home, for instance. That you haven't sort that's of bigger than 90% than of people's individual record collections. Yeah. Do you know, the, the, the backlog is two boxes full. So I kind of try to work through those, and it just keeps getting bigger. Ruffo, life path it has is, to it's be hard, said. It's hard at the bottom. What else are you doing to keep the wolf from the door? Um, not a lot else. I mean, um, the television is quiet at the moment. Um, uh, the careers programme that I did this time last year um, is no longer happening for f uh, forces beyond my control. Um, but I'm d talking to different people, obviously, about other programmes long term. But apart from that, I do a bit of DJing around town. Um, and I have a few small gigs going hither and thither. Nice. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's not the busiest time Final of my question, life. yes or no. Do you think you have to be a hustler to keep working as a broadcaster? You see, it's a bit of a tape I'm getting from. Do you think uh, you have to be a bit of a hustler? Yeah. It's the only way to get on, I think. Unless you're very lucky and unless it all lands on your doorstep. But, yes, but I think really. for most of us, you have to go out there and find the gigs and, and, and put yourself around. Fair enough. Thanks very much, Pat. Time now for top tip two of the day. Never try and improve your partner's apartment. Love and wartime.